tale of the tape for this heavyweight championship fight. Herb Dean is your referee. He's the third man in the octagon tonight. Well, Tommy Aspinall's fans travel well as we get to some early action here. A lot of people believe that this is the future of the heavyweight division. Arguably the best submission artist in this division at present. And he believes he's going to be able to get this fight to the floor rather easily here tonight. Sidekick is true. All right, no surprise to see Johnny Bones Jones open with some of those long-range weapons and finding some early success in this one. That's exactly what he does. He throws the front kick to the leg, and he throws those lead kicks to the body. He's long, he's 6'4 for the weight class, and he has learned masterfully how to fight with his height and his range. All those long-range weapons are John Jones's call apart. Push kick there to the body. Right hook coming, it's blocked. Oh, and a head kick there. All right, so one minute into the fight, certainly a lot of respect on both sides, but a lot more respect than action, at least thus far. Yeah, boo, I'm boo, I'm boo. I'm not even, I'm not, I gotta catch myself. You need to go in there and fight. Come on, that's a video game. Somebody do something. Go forward and fight. Right on the button. Beautiful kick to the bottom. Oh! Huge right hand! Hurt again. Oh, big knee! Oh, another huge ground strike landed by him there. How much more can one man take? Ground and pound has been on point tonight. Good work here by Jones. Another ground and pound strike lands for this man. Trying to guard pass here, not today. No, it ain't happening. Good job understanding the transitions. Well, I'm blind as a bat, but it looks like that's a cut. It is. Yeah, you can see a little blood starting to come out there. What a beautiful shot landed that cut his opponent open. Aspinall getting absolutely worked from the top here on the wrong end of nearly all of these ground and pound strikes. Missed with that attempt. Nice connection on the counter punch there, and oftentimes DC it can be easier to be a counter striker when you have such a pronounced edge in reach. Let your hands go. Let those hands go. Able to check the high kick. That's, that's a big thing whenever you're blocking high kicks, man. You cannot just take the brunt of that kick on one arm. You have to get that cross arm to try and guide that kick so you don't take all of it. Oh, and he tags him with the straight hand there. Beautifully done by Jones. That leg kick lands. I am starting to lose track of how many punches this guy has landed to the head of his opponent. Oh, looking to land the leg kick, but unable to find the target. Aspinall's now switching his stance. Takedown defense holds up. Oh, he stunned him with that man to the head. Guys that only focus on offense. Oh, Jones gets stung by that leg kick. Oh, big right hook, but a whiff. Oh, we told you off the top that he had a reach advantage, and he really is using it. Nice punch there. His opponent postures up, he opens it. All right, so he just decides to get up here and let the opponent up. Useful strike there, the hook is clean. Nice leg kick. 
caught that kick there. Oh. Round two is next. All right, good news is the round is over. Bad news, Jones' corner looks a little bit concerned, perhaps because of that cut on the lip that was opened up there in that round. Starting to bleed pretty good. Cutman's got his work to do now. Strike and then he's gonna tell you how to do it. I told you I was gonna get you, and watch me get you. Leg kick now. Fighter lands a kick now, and a pretty good one at that. Cannot take those leg kicks clean like that. Big power shot there. Oh, lands another hook. He's got a good leg kick. There it is. Straight right is there. Swing and a miss by Jones. Nice leg kick. Back and forth he goes. Oh, he lands another strike to the body, really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection. And these will take their toll as this fight goes into the latter rounds. Head kick attempt, it's blocked. Swing and a big miss by Aspinall. Just over three minutes to go in round two. Some nice deception there as he lands the hook. A strong hook to the head there by Aspinall. Jones is limping heavily now. May want to raise a knee and try to check one of those kicks. I'm just not sure that his leg is going to hold up much longer as this fight continues. Big shot to the head. Oh, now he has found his timing. He is doling out punishment here. Opens the guard, now stacked guard. Looks as though he will let his opponent stand back up. Yes. Well, he rocked him, but couldn't finish. He rocked him, he hurt him bad. He couldn't find that one shot to close the door. Could not shut the lights off. And now, he has to try to find that shot again. All right, well, you can still attack the thigh, right? We talk so much about calf kicks, but that's been a pretty effective weapon for him here tonight. It's traditional. It's a traditional leg kick. Just throwing your hip, bang, whipping it into the thigh. Beautifully done by this fighter. Aspinall's overhand telegraph, though, it gets blocked. Jones is cut above the eye now from that strike, so we'll see how the fighter deals with that definite adversity now. Pretty good stuff getting that kick home. Well, he was knocked down by his opponent earlier in the round, and I'm not sure he's mentally back in this game. Well, it's hard to build back from something like that. But as you watch, he's trying, but we don't know what type of dialogue is going on within, his, within himself right now in regards to him believing or not having much confidence in his approach to this fight. Well, these gentlemen are absolutely going at it. Let's see who'll have the upper hand. 
Ball misses with the jab. And he continues to work the body here. Oh, nice connection there by John Jones. And he is fighting with a definite killer instinct here tonight. And you have to have it because the target's always on your back when you're the UFC champion. Jones seems destined to keep that type of weapon. That kick blocked by Jones. Aspinall's cheek looks like it's cut. Yes, it is. Starting to bleed a little bit now. What a round it was for him, DC. And of course, the seminal moment, that big knockdown that he will try to piggyback on here in this next round. Yeah, it's going to be interesting to see how he builds off of the momentum that he gets from that last round. How does he deal with the success that he had and not push too hard too early trying to find the finish? You have to let it come to you as the knockdown came to you in the previous round. All right, so there is the horn at times in that previous round. I didn't think we'd get here after that head kick nearly had him out of there. It was a good round leading up to that. But when you take a head kick like that, when your opponent gets your entire body into Ready. that kick, usually the night's over. Ready. Very tough good. to still be standing, but he can't take many more. Oh, here's the head kick. It's blocked. Well, the left hook has been there at times, not that time. Let's go. Oh, 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 really using his reach advantage as he landed the jab there. Fighter lands a nasty kick. Well, you can just see he is oozing with confidence and not overconfidence, but a big knockdown in round one, likely the source of that confidence. When everything is going great, you tend to feel like you can walk through a wall. This is a walk through a wall. He needs to continue to find the right avenue to land those shots. Just out of range with that left hook. He blocks the shot. Oh, you land, I land, is that what we're doing here? Lands a strike there. All right, so another nice strike to the thigh, some bruising starting to develop, and that could render his opponent a one-legged fighter here down the line. And it'll take some time. It'll take some time when you land it there. But trust me, when you can dead that leg with those leg kicks, you can really start to see your opponent having difficulties moving. Right now, we're at step one. Oh, left hook. Now they separate. Nice job there to minimize damage. All right, so he catches the kick there and beautifully counters with the takedown. So a nice job turning that defense into some immediate offense there. He did a great job of turning his defense into his offense, but you can see that he's done that time and time again. He drew that exact action, and it worked in this instance. All right, so the upper leg kicks have been a big storyline in this fight, and you got to think at some point he's going to switch stances or make an adjustment, or he's going to lose this fight. He's got to do something, because right now what he's doing has not worked. It's very clear that they did not expect this as beautiful fly knee lands to the head. We passed the midpoint here of the fight. Oh, nice takedown defense. Jones's eye is closing up now. Not good for him. Good jab there by the champion. Nice hook there by Jones. It's not over, it's not over. Keep moving. Knee to the body, it's blocked. Well, you've got to admire the urgency here. He is trying to keep the judges out of it. Lighten up his opponent left and right. Work the body, it's open. Beautiful jab lands. Well, you got to think he's going to enjoy watching this one back tomorrow morning. He has landed a ton of significant strikes, and 
really a guy who has been a monster in the gym finally putting it together here in the octagon. To go home and admire your work, it doesn't take till the next morning. He's going back to him right now and firing up the video to look at beauty in action. And he was the one causing all the action. Again, going back to the jab just out of range. Nice jab up top by Aspinall. Well, this fight's been pretty crazy thus far. Both guys doling out a lot of damage, and neither seems too bothered by it, but clearly both parties are hurt. Both guys are hurt. Both guys are fighting beautifully. Both are showing a lot of heart right now in this fight. They're both doing amazing jobs. Let's see who gets the job done at the end of the stick. Trying to establish that jab once again. Nice job attacking that upper leg, and that can compromise mobility as well. It's not just the calf. Kick. Absolutely. It's like a dead leg. If you take too many, it dead legs right away. And right now, you can start to see the swelling and the bruising on his leg. So it's paying dividends for it. Oh, big head kick there. Ten seconds now to go in the round. Aspinall's nose is bleeding now. Yes, looks as though he got cut by one of those offerings from his opponent. Huh. All right, that's three rounds in the books. We are headed to the championship rounds. All right, so there's the end of the round. You see the blood trickling down as he makes his way back to the stool. Cut on the bridge of the nose, or so it appears from the strike in that round. Cut man getting right to work. All right, well, I'm no doctor. I'm not going to diagnose a broken nose, but a huge cut on the bridge, and his opponent continues to attack it. Continues to attack it as he should. He did the damage. He was the one that landed the shot that opened up that cut. Now he's got to make his opponent pay for it. He was a bit lax in the defense, and now he's got that massive cut on the bridge of his nose. You ready to fight? Ready. Go. We have arrived at the fourth round fight schedule for five five-minute rounds. All right, so here we go with our fourth round of a possible five. And a lot of fighters change up their training camp when they're fighting five rounds versus three. Yeah, you got to change it up. You have to mix things up because fighting for an extra 10 minutes is not normal. Guys don't do this normally. It's a 15-minute fight. So you have to do things physically and also mentally to make sure that you're ready to go to that extra 10 minutes. Working the inside of that lead leg. Punches in bunches, and he hasn't really shown any signs of slowing down here tonight. I'm not sure how much more his opponent can take. Lance, a quick jab. It got checked. Well, I think I can smell the blood at this point in time. That canvas didn't look like that a few fights ago. Blood is flowing from that cut with every passing strike. Every strike. And it burns. John, it burns so bad. When you get cut like that, every time a shot lands, it just burns. So this guy needs to try to find a way to not take and limit the damage he's taken to this cut. Easier said than done, though. All right, so the bruising on that thigh is getting really bad by the minute. He's going to have a hard time walking in the morning, and this fight could end in short order. Well, even in between rounds, the corner needs to be getting ice on that thigh. He's been beat up in this area. This guy's leg is unrecognizable. And just misses with that big right hand. Oh, nice jab. Aspinall's head kick is blocked, so no damage inflicted there. Back and forth we go. It takes two to tango, and man, have these two individuals tangoed tonight. I might run it back at some point, no matter how this one is. It's one of those fights where when you look at these two and the damage on their faces, the work that they have both put in, you realize and you appreciate what these fighters do inside the octagon. They're both hurt. They're both beat up. And both of these guys have shown a tremendous amount of resilience to put themselves in position to win this fight. Jones. Oh! Finish, finish, finish. 
All right, stacking them up here, keeping the pressure on. I know you guys do a lot of this training with your... Herb Dean steps in! Holy smokes! You gotta be kidding me. You gotta be kidding me! Make the bad man stop. A nice stoppage win for him here tonight. And the other side just couldn't handle the incoming assault. A flurry of punches, most of them upstairs. And when those big shots land repeatedly, the referee has no choice but to step in and call the fight. We set it inside the octagon. Bruce Buffer has the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at two minutes, 46 seconds of round number four. Declaring the winner by TKO and new undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world, Paul So 